Princess Victoria Eugenie of Battenberg was born on October 24, 1887, at Balmoral Castle, Scotland. Her parents were Prince Henry of Battenberg and Princess Beatrice, Queen Victoria's daughter. Raised in Queen Victoria's household, she spent her childhood at Windsor Castle, Balmoral, and Osborne House. Victoria Eugenie was close to her grandmother and had a strict upbringing. Her father died in 1896, and after Queen Victoria died in 1901, her family moved to Kensington Palace. Princess Beatrice inherited Osborne Cottage. In 1905, King Alfonso XIII of Spain visited the United Kingdom and became interested in Victoria Eugenie, who was introduced to him during a dinner hosted by his uncle, King Edward VII. Despite concerns from his mother and potential obstacles such as differences in religion and the risk of haemophilia, King Alfonso pursued Victoria Eugenie as a potential bride, leading to their courtship and eventual marriage. Princess Victoria Eugenie wed King Alfonso XIII at the Royal Monastery of San Geronimo in Madrid on May 31, 1906. Among those in attendance were her widowed mother, her brothers, and her cousins, the Prince and Princess of Wales. The future Queen was greeted with a lavish display of wedding gifts at the Royal Palace in Madrid. Among the presents were exquisite jewellery pieces from various family members, including a crown, necklaces, earrings, and brooches. King Alfonso presented her with the most impressive gift a grand diamond tiara featuring the House of Bourbon's emblem, crafted by the renowned jeweller Anserina. The tiara was affectionately nicknamed La Buena. This gesture symbolized the union between the royal families and marked the significance of the occasion. Queen Ana adorns herself with her Brazilian aquamarine parure, comprising a tiara, necklace, pendant, two pairs of earrings, a bracelet, and a two-piece pendant brooch. This exquisite set has passed down through generations, from Queen Anna to her daughter, the Infanta Beatriz, who married Alessandro Talonia, the fifth Prince of Civitella Sisi. Subsequently, the Perore descended to Beatriz's daughters. Olympia Vila, Ney Talonia, and Sandra Talonia, Countess Lequio de Asabar, have been spotted wearing various elements of the Perore. Although the Perore remains mostly intact, Infanta Beatrice opted to have the tiara redesigned into an interlocking circle pattern, embellished with aquamarine briolettes suspended within each circle. The diamond fleur de lis tiara, known as La Buena, was a magnificent wedding present given to Queen Victoria Eugenie of Spain, by her husband King Alfonso of Spain. Crafted by the court jeweler Anserina, this significant tiara adorned the bride on her wedding day. La Buena is part of the Hoyas de Passar collection, a selection of jewels designated in her will for future Spanish queens. Despite its grand size, the tiara features an adjustable base. Queen Ana, who famously wore the tiara during her tumultuous royal wedding in 1906, often opted for a more compact arrangement. Images from 1906 show her wearing the tiara in its closed form, while photos from 1922 depict her donning the more expansive version. Queen Victoria Eugenia of Spain, a member of royalty, possessed an exquisite taste and an undeniably regal appearance. Throughout her exile, she consistently traveled accompanied by her extensive collection of jewels, thereby imposing significant stress on her staff. Empress Eugenie left the emeralds, concealed within a fan case, to her goddaughter, the Queen of Spain. Initially, the Queen did not recognize their value and casually set them aside. Subsequently, 
Cartier transformed the emeralds into pendant motifs for a sizable diamond necklace sortoir. In due course, however, requiring funds to finance her grandson Juan Carlos's wedding to Princess Sophia of Greece, Queen Anna opted to auction the necklace, brooch, and ring at Stucker Burn in 1961. The necklace was obtained by the New York jeweler, Harry Winston, who subsequently reset the emeralds. These jewels were later acquired by another royal family, the Pahlavi family of Iran. Shah Mohammad Reza Pahlavi of Iran presented the emeralds to his third wife, Empress Farah, who combined them with other significant jewels from the Iranian collection. Queen Aina cherished a particular brooch throughout her life, often wearing it until her later years. Notably, at a pre-wedding gala in London in 1947, she adorned herself with a remarkable Art Deco diamond stomacher crafted by Cartier. Following the passing of Queen Victoria Eugenie in 1969, her third son and heir, Infante Juan, Count of Barcelona, inherited only the Hoyas de Passar. Meanwhile, her remaining jewels were intended to be inherited by her two daughters, Infanta Beatriz, Princess of Civitella Sisi, and Infanta Maria Cristina. However, her wishes were not fulfilled. Eventually, the Cartier diamond stomacher was passed down to her second son, Infante Jaime, Duke of Segovia. This stomacher was worn by his wife, Charlotte Tiedemann, Duchess of Segovia and Anjou, in an official portrait in the early 1970s. Unfortunately, following the Duke's demise in 1975, Charlotte faced financial hardships and decided to auction the Cartier stomacher at Christie's in Geneva in 1977. As of now, the current whereabouts of the stomacher and its condition remain unknown. This emerald cross is crafted from a single emerald crystal, believed to originate from Colombia. It is reputed that the Andean cross was owned by Queen Isabel II of Spain and subsequently passed to Empress Eugenie of France, who was the Spanish-born Empress Consort of Napoleon III of France. Empress Eugenie initially gifted a cross to her friend Queen Victoria of Great Britain, who later passed it down to her daughter, Princess Beatrice of Battenberg. The cross eventually came into the possession of Princess Beatrice's daughter, Victoria Eugenia, who became Queen of Spain. In 1937, Cartier acquired the 45-carat cross from Queen Victoria Eugenia and incorporated it into a new necklace design with emeralds and diamonds reflecting the Art Deco style. This necklace, adorned with 14 emeralds and 28 diamond spaces, was purchased by Simon Patino, a wealthy Bolivian magnet, for his wife in 1938. Later, Van Cleef and Arpels acquired the necklace and made modifications, including the removal of two emeralds and two pairs of diamond spaces, which were used to create a pair of earrings. The modified necklace and earrings were subsequently sold at a Christie's auction in 2013, with the necklace fetching a price within the estimated range of $7,183,674 to $10,231,293. These jewels were attributed to an esteemed European collector. Princess Henry gifted her daughter a stunning parure of perfectly matched pink conch pearls, consisting of a necklet, a brooch featuring a unique shell design adorned with diamonds and a pendant pearl, and a hair ornament with diamond scrollwork accented by pink conch pearls. This exquisite necklace, along with its pink conch pearl pendants and diamond set shell, was Queen Victoria's wedding gift to Princess Beatrice. Queen Aina later wore these conch pearls as pendants in a light garland tiara, which she incorporated into the scrolls of her aquamarine tiara. 
Initially identified as pink coral or pink pearls, these jewels were likely named due to their opaque surface resembling pink corals. But they were indeed pink conch pearls. In the late 1920s, the conch pearl jewelry set was disassembled, and Cartier Paris, a favored jeweler of the Spanish Queen, crafted a remarkable conch pearl, enamel, and diamond bracelet from its components. This bracelet featured a highly intricate design resembling a band of vines adorned with conch pearl fruits, embellished with diamonds and black enamel. At an auction in Geneva in 2012, this bracelet with royal provenance fetched an impressive $3.4 million. Queen Sophia of Spain still wears two shell ornaments, though it is uncertain if they originate from the original parole.